We've been working with Landcare for the past year and a half. It all started as online workshops with farmers all across Australia to try to train farmers on what environmental accounting is. We found a lot of landholders had heard about environmental accounting, but didn't really understand what the concept meant. Accounting for Nature comes from about 15 years of research from the Wentworth Group of Concerned Scientists, and it's all about standardising how we measure environmental condition and how we communicate that. The workshop is really aimed at landholders and teaching them about the environmental accounting framework and what the benefits are of implementing the framework on their properties. So firstly, we'll teach them the theory of measuring native vegetation, soil and terrestrial mammals in the field. And we'll take them down to actually do a practical example of how those methods work. The methods were designed in a way that would enable landholders to do it themselves. So from this training, they'll hopefully walk away with the knowledge and the skills to be able to do it all themselves. A lot of people are trying to get a head start by implementing a framework such as Accounting for Nature with standardised approaches, um, verification of the outcomes, so that when biodiversity markets do establish, they will have data ready there to use and underpin those markets and gain access to those markets. I think the opportunities are massive. We are seeing more and more financial institutions taking environmental data into consideration in the risk assessments. We see more and more organisations having to report on environmental data. We're seeing consumers being interested in transparency. They want to know where the products are coming from. They want to know about the environmental condition, where those products are grown. For me, it's, uh, it's integrity. I'm growing some food to, to sell to people and claiming that it's environmentally positive. And, but to actually have a process in place that you can, you can prove that that's what you're doing is really, really important from a from a consumer's perspective, I think. It really opens up the sort of an opportunity for farmers. So it's, it's sort of broadening the financial opportunities. They become aware that they're a, a land manager and they can contribute to improving the health of land and water and across their farm and they can be proud of the work they do and get paid for it. I think my favourite part is meeting passionate people every time I go out on workshops and actually seeing the great work that's happening all across Australia. I think there's also great opportunities to get support from Landcare, whether that's through having someone come on your land and help you with doing the assessments or applying for various grants. Hopes of the future is that we can do this similar type of training with, with more groups, that we can actually take the next level of training out to primary producers who want to step into this biodiversity market. The more information we have going forward, the better our industry is going to be and the better the consumer can feel about buying the products from an industry that's actually taking great steps to improve our footprint on the environment as we still can produce food and fibre for our population. Mm -hmm.